Assalamu alaikum. I wanted to record a second very brief commentary on Juz 20 because I know the first commentary was really about Islam and science or Quran and science and although I find that very spiritual I know that some people may not and since we are entering the last 10 nights I did want to include one brief spiritual commentary that I hope will be of relevance to all of us. I know it is definitely of relevance to, to some of us, inshallah. So the verse is also from Surah Al-Qasas, verse 56. We'll go over the verse and the occasion of revelation and the broader meaning for us, inshallah. And the verse says, أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم إنك لا تهدي من أحببت ولكن الله يهدي من يشاء وهو أعلم بالمهتدين The translation is, Surely you, O Muhammad, cannot guide whom you like, but Allah guides whom he wills. He knows the best of those who are guided, or he best knows those who are guided. And the occasion of revelation here is a very sad and very touching part of the seerah of the Prophet, um, so say the scholars, and God knows best, uh, according to the Hadith books, that this verse was revealed uh, regarding the Prophet's uncle, uh, Abu Talib, whom the Prophet loved very much, and who, of course, was the Prophet's protector from all of the abuse that the Quraysh was trying to heap on him. And he, of course, had also helped raise the Prophet in childhood after he was orphaned. And so when his uncle, uh, Abu Talib, was uh, on his deathbed, the Prophet, peace be upon him, came to him to try to have him convert to Islam to, to say the Shahada before he died. And they narrate that the Prophet came to him and kept telling him, Ya Am, قُلْ لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا اللَّهُ كَلِمَةً أَشْهَدُ لَكَ بِهَا عِنْدَ اللَّهُ Oh uncle, say La ilaha illa Allah, a word that I can use to bear witness for you with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he unfortunately, I guess, found that also with Abu Talib were two of the stalwarts of Quraysh who were opponents of Islam, Abu Jahl and Abdullah ibn Abi Umayyah. And they kept pressuring Abu Talib on the other side, telling him, Atargabu an millati Abdul Muttalib, are you going to leave the religion of Abdul Muttalib? And both sides kept sort of trying to um, influence Abu Talib. And finally, he, according to a variety of narrations, refused uh, or was not willing to say the shahada. In one, he said, I will stay on the way of Abdul Muttalib. In the other, he said to the Prophet, were I not afraid that the Quraysh would uh, belittle me and berate me after I was dead, saying that he only said this uh, because of fear of death, I would have brought gladness to your eyes and I would have said it, but that I'm not going to say it. So the bottom line is that he died without saying the Shahada, despite the best efforts of the Prophet. And according to another narration, the Prophet was telling him, Qul kalimat al-ikhlasi ujadilu anka biha yawm al -qiyamah. Say the word of ikhlas, say the, the testament of, of sincere faith that I could use to argue on your behalf on the Day of Judgment. And so this verse was revealed to console the Prophet ﷺ. You can't guide whom you like, no matter how dear they are to you. God guides whom he wills. And he is the best of knowers about those who are guided or who have the propensity for guidance. And so what are the lessons here? Well, lesson number one is a consolation for those who are struggling with their family. I know that there are 
a lot of parents out there that are struggling with their children and they feel a lot of sadness and a lot of consternation and a lot of anguish that they feel that their children have gone off the path and they are calling them to guidance and the children are not responding well the consolation is if the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam himself was unable to guide his uncle whom he so dearly loved then we can take consolation that it is not up to us we are not able to control who was guided and who isn't but the second lesson is that we don't give up the prophet peace be upon him was with his uncle as he was dying as he his soul was was being taken and he didn't stop trying right until the very end tell him say it say it say it give me that word that i can bear witness for you on the day of judgment so we try our best but we realize that the outcome of that effort is not in our hands it is in the hands of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we take the consolation that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala offered to his prophet for ourselves to to help heal our anguish and 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 dry our tears and may god guide us all and may god make us instruments of guidance to those whom we love inshallah god bless you with the last 10 nights of ramadan assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah